started. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Confirmations Committee, and um, I, I'd like to open us up with prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the opportunity to serve the people of Alabama. We pray for wisdom and guidance for these appointees that will come before this Confirmations Committee today, and help us all to make the best decisions for the people of Alabama. Amen. The clerk, please call the roll. Senator Allen? Here. Senator Figures? Here. Senator Gavan? Here. Senator Gudger? Here. Senator Hatcher? Here. Senator Jones? Here. Senator Price? Here. Senator Sessions? Here. Senator Shellnut? Here. Senator Singleton? Here. Senator Smitherman? Here. Senator Stutz? Cinder Williams, Here. Cinder Wagner, Here. And Cinder Weaver. Here. Twelve members present. We have a quorum, and we will begin today with the Troy University Board of Trustees. Will the clerk please call these appointees? The governor appoints Mr. Frederick Thomas and Ms. Karen Carter to the Troy University Board of Trustees. We have Mr. Freddie Thomas as a new appointee and a reappointment for Mrs. Carter. Any objection to voting on these as a block? Uh, Mr. Smithman? I'm not objecting, but I want to be recognized before we vote. Okay. Yeah, certainly. me as well, Senator. Okay, certainly. I'll yield to Senator first, but that's before we vote now. We okay. can't finish the vote. Yes, yes. Uh, looking at uh, Frederick Thomas and uh, yeah, there he is. He's, uh, anyway, <clears throat> Troy University has a rich, rich family background uh, as well. My great uncle was the first football coach at Troy University, and he and Fred was a great student athlete. And uh, so he's a great individual. I just want to make that comment about this great guy here. Thank you. I enjoyed meeting him today as well. Senator Smithman, did you have some comments? Uh, well, I, I, I do, but not like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> not like that. That's why I let him go first. Okay. I want the good, good to come out before the other <laughs> come out. So I thought I'd do that, you know. And I, I first want to say that on the good side is that uh, having conversation with, the, you know, with the people that need to be with the university, uh, I'm glad to see Mr. Thomas as being one of the people who they brought before us. But uh, I want to tell them that, you know, I, I, and I'm serious when I say this as well, you know, don't rest on your morals because they only have 18% of this board, two out of 11 people that are diverse African-Americans, and that's not good. I mean, it's, right now this is probably one of the lowest percentage of in our universities in the state. So I, I think you all got some more work to do. And I would appreciate if y'all would do that. So when you come back, it will be reflective of the work. Thank you. Senator Hatcher. Well, I guess I'll be the book note to uh, the bookend to that one. Uh, I just learned, and I, when I met Mr. Thomas, I didn't know, because uh, see, in, 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 in my tradition, most people won't know you by the name, your, your government name. It's usually your nickname. So when they said Bootsy, I, re I remembered who that was. Um, uh, this football player from Robert E. Lee High School. So uh, I met him earlier today. I was prepared to say, uh, this is a guy we just don't need any longer. Right? And, and here it is now. I'm singing his praises. Um, so Troy has done a good job with uh, uh, this gentleman. And uh, it's, it's, it's thank you uh, for agreeing to serve. And I mentioned to uh, the gentleman as well uh, that, you know, Jack Hawkins I learned, I know, you know, Jack Hawkins has been, you know, you know in, the high, in the higher education and certainly chancellor probably as long as, uh, since Moby Dick was a minnow. Yeah. And I learned that he is, uh, he's the, he's the longest serving chancellor. Um, is it just here in the state of Alabama or? 35 years. In, oh, wow. So uh, we, we, we're looking forward to honoring him sometime soon. So say hello to Chancellor Hawkins. Thank you, Madam Chair. Absolutely. Any other? Comments. Uh, Madam Chair, do you mind? 
I have a moment? Senator Gadger? Uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, I think it's very important that you know that there is a softball game, Senate versus the House tonight. <laughs> and if we need to make you a Senate for the day, a Senator for the day, we'll still take this personal achievements that go on for about three paragraphs at the end of your resume of all the national right. awards you've won. So just letting you know, you know, we're with you. And if you can be with us, that would be even better. So just letting you know that. That's all, Mr. Chair uh, Ms. Chairman. Now your motion to approve. So move. A motion by Senator Sessions, seconded by Senator Gudger. And if you will please call the long roll to establish a roll. Senator Allen? Aye. Senator Figures? Aye. Senator Gavan? Aye. Senator Gudger? Aye. Senator Hatcher? Aye. Senator Jones? Aye. Senator Price? Aye. Senator Sessions? Aye. Senator Shelnut? Aye. Senator Singleton? Senator Smitherman? Aye. Senator Stutz? Senator Williams? Senator Wagner? Aye. Senator Weaver? Aye. 13 yeas and zero nays, and these appointees receive a, fav a favorable report. And Mr. Thomas has been here with us today and has had the opportunity to meet many of you, but would you stand and let us recognize you? Do you have any, any comments that you would like to say to the committee? We appreciate your willingness to serve. Thank you for being here today. That's true Troy legacy. <laughs> I can't believe this spirited committee is missing an opportunity to ask questions of any other Troy board members out there as, as well. I see one of our former colleagues uh, out there in the audience. Anybody have any questions or comments for us? Used, used to bees don't make honey no more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, moving on to the. As long as you stay out of prison, commission. don't come before the board. <laughs> <laughs> we have one new appointee um, for the Manufactured Housing Commission. If the clerk will please call that appointee. The governor appoints Mr. O'Neill Caton to the Alabama Manufacturers Housing Commission. Okay, any discussion on this one, Senator Madam, Smitherman? Madam Chairman. Wait, Senator Smitherman is recognized. No worries. You want to say something first? I don't mind. You, you must have the same report I got then, if you know what I'm going to say. You're looking at them numbers too, aren't you? Wait, anybody out there for manufacturing? Oh, you the man. 22%. That ain't good. Yes, sir. Okay. We need to bump that up, son. Can y'all handle that? Is that in the workings or is that? No, she's on the board. She's one of the two. She's one of the two. Dr. Walter Bracey, who is the president of Alabama Health Operations, he's been on the board for about 15 years. That was his brother. If you will, come up to the microphone because I know that there might be some people watching on live stream and they'll be able to hear your comments yeah, so, as well. So Dr. Bracey's been on our board for over 15 years. Okay. As a consumer rep. Right. Um, and, and this particular appointment <clears throat> will, uh, will also be a consumer rep. Now, the, the gentleman that was nominated by the governor's office, um, it's set up there's three consumer reps on our board, three of the nine. They have to live. One is from Congressional District 127. That's Dr. Bracey. One is from three or six, and one is from four or five. And the, the, the gentleman that has been nominated was an installer of manufactured homes for about 30 years. He actually lives in a manufactured home, and he's now retired. And he had expressed interest uh, about serving on our board. He was going to be here today, but he's recovering from COVID. Well, Ms. No. Yes, sir. I, I, let me say this. I, I, uh, I understand what you're saying, and I'm not questioning whether or not the experience and understanding 
of this particular individual is not of a superior level. That's by no means. But I am saying that, you know, and I'm not saying you're not saying this, but I promise you, there's a folk who's just like me, they got some good experience and will be a good person on their board. I, I agree with you, sir. Okay. Well, I, I would appreciate it, you know, when you, I see y'all again. Well, we will work with the governor's office. Thank you. That there he is right there. He is, he's a good man. So you, I appreciate that. Thank you, Madam President. Senator Gudger. Madam Chairman, um, just so everybody knows on the committee, I'm on this particular board as well, where I'm to send an appointment for that, and the reason being about 95% of manufactured housing is produced and made in my district. I'm sending it for Coleman County, uh, Winston County, Marion County, and a little bit in Lawrence County. But uh, Senator Smith, I know where you're going with that. We'll make sure that we take care of everybody's you, needs. You're on, on the board. board. You're on the board. They don't have your name down here. Name here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a, mist that was a mistake. A big mistake for yeah. this man well, talking well, for y'all. There's a and, big and, mistake. Well, and, and, and the, he can he can vouch that was sent by accident. And I looked at it and I was like, no, Senator Schofield was was. Was it right. Senator Schofield? I, I took okay. yes, that's and correct. Then he, okay. And he took Senator Schofield's okay. place. And, oh, okay. And didn't get corrected. And well. he said earlier that he talked to the speaker about putting an appointment there. The reason being is that I'm the appointment for the Senate, so the speaker the House has one also. And so I had a question up here, why did he come to the Senate? And I was like, well, I'm, I'm the one for the Senate. So I just wanted the committee to know anyway. But right. they do a good job. We keep it everything we possibly can do to make sure that there's safety on the roads when these manufactured houses are going down the road and being built to quality spec. So just thank you for what you do on this particular board. But I'll make a motion to approve, uh, Madam Chairman. Okay. Do we have a second? I have a question oh, first. Certainly. The young man, Mr. William Acock, Jr. Yes, ma'am. Who is... His appointing authority. There is no name next to that. Um, he he actually works for one of the um, manufactured home uh, manufacturers. No, but who appoints they're, they're, him? That there for all of the industry reps. There's two manufacturer reps and one retailer rep. All if you look at the statute, all no no no. All of those. I'm asked yeah, who the, appoints the association, the Alabama Manufactured Housing Association, which is the trade group by statute submits three names to the governor and she chooses from one of those three names for the industry reps. Okay, you're not understanding my question. If you look on the page. Yes, ma'am. I can handle it, Senator, thank you. If you look on the page, if you look under Mr. Acock's name, right. it says appointing authority and it's blank where everyone else has. So I'm just wondering who is his appoint, who appointed him? Governor. Okay, so you all left that off. It's, it's a typo, Senator. Okay. I, did, I didn't have a copy of what you're referring to. I'm sorry, Senator. Okay. That, that's, that's why I said, who was his appointing authority? All right, but thank you. But she's constrained by the three names that are submitted by the Trade Association. Oh, I understand. I understand how she makes the appointment, but I was wondering who in the end made it. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Absolutely. So we have a Motion to approve by Senator Gudger. Do we have a second? By Senator Hatcher. Um, any objection to using previous role? Hearing none, we have uh, 13 yeas and zero nays, and Mr. Caton is given a favorable report. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your explanation. Mm -hmm. And moving on to the Alabama Commission on Higher Education, we have two new appointees. Um, and clerk, please call these appointees. The governor appoints Mr. Shane Spiller and Mr. Terry Welch to the Alabama Commission on Higher Education. Any discussion on Alabama Commission on Higher Education? I have one Senator just Smith. a little comment. Let me ask. What I see, I see, I see a former colleague on here. Is 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 that the same former colleague we have, Rod Scott? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I think he come up in a couple of years. Okay. Right, Madam that President. All. That was all. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. sir. You finished? Yeah, I'm through. Okay. Madam Chairman, I would like to make a nomination for Shane Spill. I know him. He lives in my uh, Senate district from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, I would like to uh, make the nomination in favor. Thank you. So, um, we have a motion by Senator Singleton, second by Senator Gudger. Any objection to using previous role? Hearing none, 13 yeas and zero nays, and these appointees are given a favorable report. 
or I know Mr. Spiller was not able to be here today. Was Mr. Welch able to be here today? Mr. Welch, thank you for being here. Thank you for your willingness to serve. Do you have anything that you'd like to say to the committee? Well, first, I'd like to say thank you for giving for having the support and confidence in us uh, joining this commission. Uh, a little bit about my background. You can tell probably by my accent. I'm not a native Alabamian, but I'm from Texas, but moved here to Alabama uh, in 2010 and moved back here. Uh, we're now proud owners of a retail business in Decatur, and I'm also in uh, serving on public policies for contractor service fabrication. But I, I've got a lengthy history in uh, supporting and working in the higher education system, both <coughs> I was in the industry, supporting it from the STEM program all the way up through working with developing our workforce. And so thank you very much for this opportunity. You sound like an Alabamian to me. Yeah. <laughs> Been a long enough. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for being here today. Okay, um, next we have the State Course of Study Committee. Did we move him? We did, didn't we? We did as a block. Yes, we did. Okay, block. I just nominated Shane. I'm sorry. Okay, okay yes. fine. Yeah. Block. Oh, do we not I do it in block? Shane. Okay. No, I so. think we. I think you made the motion from the beginning. If could we do them in block? And then and you we made said, the nomination. Uh, so. We said yes, and I just said I wanted to speak. That was all. But okay. you said that. But I came back and then nominated Shane yes. individually. So. Anybody want to nominate Mr. Welsh, just to be sure we're yeah, We can here. get back on the block. Yeah, yes, yeah. And then we'll get okay. back on the block after this. And so okay. motion by Senator Williams, second by Senator Allen. Using previous role. Okay, so 13 yeas and zero nays. Mr. Welch, you are officially given a favorable report. There you go. Okay, very good. Thank you for keeping me on track there. Okay, moving on to the State Course of Study Committee. We have two new appointees. The clerk would please call these. The governor appoints Mr. Brady McLaughlin and Ms. Don Hopper to the State Course of Study Committee on Career and Technical Education. Madam President. Yes, sir. Senator Smithman, you're recognized. Move, move for confirmation. Okay. Do I hear a second? Second by Senator Hatcher, I, I think. Um, any objection to using previous role? Hearing none, 13 yeas and zero nays. We are given a favorable report or either... Mrs. Hopper or Mr. McLaughlin here today? I don't think that they were going to be able to do Okay, so we will move on to our last large block that we have from the Real Estate Appraisers Board. We have a group of nine that we will vote on in block. Oh, uh, nine of We vote on nine people? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Uh, we let, have let five. Let me look at these four. We have five new appointments and four reappointments. And if the clerk would please call those. The Madam governor Chair. appoints. Yes, sir. Yes, no. Oh, you're going to read them out first. I'm going to speak. Yeah, you go ahead and, and call them, and then we'll have a discussion. The governor appoints Mr. Randall Kyles, Mr. Chad Anderson, Mr. Mark Palmer, Mr. Andreas Smith, Mr. Roger Ball, Ms. Melanie Hausch, Mr. William Mackey, Mr. Tim Mills, and Mr. Andrew Watson to the Alabama Real Estate Appraiser Board. Senator Figures. Thank you, Madam Chair. I was going to make a motion to give favorable report to all nine of the appointees to the Real Estate Appraisers Board, and I'll make that motion, but I also want to say it. there was a time when we were given what area they were from in terms of representation so that we could make sure that geographically it was representation on these boards, and I don't see that this time. Um, okay, so if you could add that to, you know, how you do the, the summary sheet. Congressional district information. However, yes. They, they have to be appointed by districts for this particular board, so I'll, I'll add that next time. Okay. Please, thank you. Um, I renew my motion, Madam okay. Chair. Any other discussion? Sir, oh, okay. he got it. So, um, motion by Senator Figure, second by Senator Singleton. Any objection to using previous rule? Hearing none, 13 yeas, zero nays. These appointees are given a favorable report. Anyone from the Real Estate Appraisers Board uh, appointee here today? Tell us your, your name. <clears throat> yes, 
Yeah, I'm Mark Palmer. I'm okay. from the 4th Congressional District, formerly in the 5th Congressional District. And uh, uh, I'm a Mississippi State grad, but I've been in Alabama 24 years, and I don't think they'll take me back. And I appreciate the vote of confidence. Well, we're glad to have you. Thank you for your willingness to serve. Thank you for being here today. Madam President. Senator Smith. I just thought I'd tell you, uh, you say you're Mississippi State. Did you see them play on TV They're in the playoffs? Basketball, did you get a it's chance tomorrow. to? Huh? Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. They're playing tomorrow. Look at number 12. The boy that's about seven feet tall. Play from, it was one of my former players. Who was that? Uh, Keyshawn. Keyshawn. Uh huh. Murphy. Murphy. That's him. Thank you. <laughs> it is good. Any more discussion for Confirmations Committee today? He hearing none, we are adjourned. Good job. Good job. Get ready for the game. Game time. Game time. Just like when I scared you. You got on my head. Huh? I bet you he's on. See that? See that? I know we get hard headed sometimes too now. Good. Hey, James, good. Yeah, James is good. He is He's gonna good. be all right. I'm gonna tell him I need a piece of furniture for that. <laughs> I'm more tell him, okay? Hey, I'm, hey. I need a piece of furniture for that. That's why I said Oh, I didn't know that. I'm bringing my office. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Shane's a good dude. Let's pick the world up now. I'm gonna sign that pill. Okay. 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 Yeah. Hello, my friend. How are you today? Good. You come to the game tonight. See us uh, freeze. <laughs> it's going to be cold. Hey, I hope you got to sleep. I do. I make sure. Yeah. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch you. Thank you.